This video breaks down how the Houston Rockets are shockingly on fire. They're the first team in the history of the NBA, MLB, NFL, or NHL to win seven consecutive games after a losing streak of at least 15 games. We knew Christian Wood could ball like a top power forward in basketball, and that Houston had a solid young core revolving around Kevin Porter Jr. and their number two overall draft selection in 2021, Jalen Green. What we didn't know is that the young Rockets were capable of racking up wins consecutively like a team at the opposite end of the conference is them. Stay tuned to see the secret weapon driving H-Town to a stunning run of Ws. Before continuing, only 14.7% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. At one point, the 21-22 Houston Rockets were on the path towards a historically bad season, and while this seven-gamer may not exemplify the type of winning Houston's going to do for the rest of the year, at least they've avoided having an all-time bad record. The 2011-12 Charlotte Bobcats 106 winning percentage was the worst of all time, and through 17 games, Houston had a 0.05 winning percentage. But miraculously, after Coach Steven Silas made a few lineup changes, trusted a few different guys in the depth chart, H-Town seen their basketball team rattle off a blistering seven straight Ws. And 85% of this has been without their rookie Jalen Green, who we'll get to later on. The product of Arizona State Josh Christopher is an athletic phenom who has polished perimeter skills for his age. The 20-year-old left college after his freshman year with the Sun Devils, and that's seeming like the right choice given he was taken 24th in the first round, and now he's earning his minutes in an NBA rotation. Josh played a season-most 23 minutes against the Brooklyn Nets to help secure Houston their seventh straight win. He scored 18 points on 7 for 7 shooting while tallying a block and two steals. I think this kid's going to be an exceptional star in this league when his experience and consistency catch up to his gifted talent both as a slasher and perimeter creator. Josh is seemingly mature for his age, but he just needs the proper reps under his belt at the highest level of basketball in the world to establish himself as an elite player. Let's give the kid some time though, he is still just a rook. Since promoting Gary Bird, Garrison Matthews to the rotation, Houston's turned around their season. In the seven games where Matthews has played at least 22 minutes, the Rockets are undefeated. And last night, Gary came through when fans in H-Town needed him most, as they were looking for revenge on the man who forced his way out last season. In the fourth quarter of James Harden's Houston homecoming, the Beard hit one of his patented step-back threes and was fouled, leading to a four-point play. That cut Brooklyn's deficit to four points with over seven minutes left. A minute later, Eric Gordon, the top scorer and most established veteran on the Rockets, was ejected. It felt like a classic downfall for the young Rockets, who led by as much as 17, heading into the fourth. But thanks in large part due to Houston's biggest fan favorite right now in Garrison Matthews, the Rockets prevailed, finding a way to extend their historic win streak to seven in a 114-104 W over Harden and the Nets, who own the best record in the East. Matthews scored 12 of his 19 points in the fourth quarter, including nine in the final six minutes, which allowed Houston to absorb a strong counterpunch from Harden who dropped 25, 11, and eight. The 25-year-old Matthews also had a block and a steal against the former MVP late in the game. And after a steal which resulted in free throws from a hardened foul, Gary got some MVP chance at the line. Not too shabby for a third-year player on a two-way contract and one who was waived during the 21-22 preseason. After spending four years at Lipscomb University in Nashville, Tennessee, Matthews has never been given a fair shot in the pros. He went undrafted in 2019, and after spending a year in the G League, Garrison's sophomore season saw him play 64 games and shoot an above average 38.4% from three-point range. But he played just around 16 minutes per game. He still played solid, but after hitting free agency, Matthews got no respect, only getting signed to a training camp deal with the Celtics on September 28th but he was waived by the Boston Celtics before the season started. Rockets GM Raphael Stone claimed Matthews off waivers on October 18th, which is looking like one of the most underrated off-season slash preseason pickups. It's been an impressive turnaround for this young rebuilding team who just two weeks ago only had one win, but beginning with an impressive W over the Chicago Bulls in late November, Houston's gone on an absolute tear. 
The Rockets have the fifth best offense in the NBA since that win on November 24th over Chicago. That's a massive improvement from the start of the season, where Houston ranked last in offensive rating. A big chunk of that improvement on offense can be attributed to Houston's three-point shooting, which ranks sixth in the league over the win streak, as they're knocking down 40% of their deep-range bombs. The aforementioned Garrison Matthews, along with a leftover from the previous Rockets era in Eric Gordon, are finding their shots from deep over the win streak, giving Houston an extra boost in the clutch. Houston's also got better performances from some of their key players like Christian Wood, Kevin Porter Jr., and Jay Sean Tate. Not only is merely the fact that they've won 7 straight after losing 15 surprising, but it's how the Rockets are winning. Almost every other team in the league nowadays is carried by 1-3 to three stars in particular, but this Rockets team has 6 players averaging at least 12 points per game, 9 rotation guys averaging at least 7, and no player on the roster scoring more than 16.3 on a nightly basis. Houston is winning with a shockingly balanced and tough-to-stop offensive attack. They're not just simply sneaking up on teams who think they're trash. One of the more notable factors that stood out during this moment of success the Rockets are having is that it's happening without Jalen Green on the floor. Green suffered a hamstring injury during Houston's win against the Bulls and hasn't played since. The number two pick in the 2021 draft hasn't exactly been the most valuable at contributing to wins for Houston this year, as he was shooting just 38.2% from the field and 27.8% from three-point range. Let's take it easy on the Rook, though. Jalen's adjusting from the playing style of the G League to the NBA, and Jalen's youth and inexperience gives him a pass in my eyes. Green was starting to play a lot better and even contributed to the Rockets' first W of the streak. Let's hope when Jalen gets back, he'll be able to mesh into Steven Silas' system and help Houston win more games. But right now, with the rookie sideline, the Rockets are experiencing a great deal of success. The journey to keep the win streak alive won't be easy as they have a matchup against the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks on Friday, following games against the Memphis Grizzlies and Atlanta Hawks. But with the way the Rockets are playing, you certainly can't count them out from tacking on a few more wins. Now for maybe what you've stuck around for, the biggest secret weapon for the Rockets. Their 16th overall draft selection in 2021, Alperin Shengun, has lived up to expectations of being one of the organization's first round picks this year. Among the rookie class, Shengun ranks 10th in scoring, 7th in rebounding and passing, and he's tied for 4th with Scotty Barnes in steals per game. Alperin's become known for his flashy dime dropping and his impressive ability to put up hefty assist totals for the power forward spot. That's going to benefit him tremendously in the modern NBA. Just look at how playmaking bigs like Draymond Green, Nikola Jokic, Bam Adebayo, among others, have improved their respective team success in recent years. It's one thing when your point guard has a high passing IQ, but when the player who's setting screens for your attacking players is dropping slick dimes, that vamps your offensive flow even more. The reason why Alperin was passed on 15 times in this year's draft is likely due to his presumed lack of foot speed in the NBA. There was no question about his IQ, but... That foot speed hasn't been a problem so far. Shen Goon's instincts in the passing lanes and overall active hands when guarding in one-on-one -on -one scenarios have made up for any absence of quickness. But what surprised you the most about this Rockets team? Best answer in the comments gets next video shoutout. The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's shoutout goes to Ona Ebodaga. Pause to read his amazing take. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hoops to stay updated on the Speaks competition and the NBA. That's at Hoops. Links down below. This was DFlow. Hope you all have a great one, and I'll see you next video.